So we're about to do something we've never ever done before. Not on these bikes anyway. Not on the Super CRF. We're, uh, so the situation is we've got a car which isn't with us and we need to go pick that up. We used it last night. And the only mode of transport we've got is the bikes. So, so we're going to take one bike with two people. And we've never done that before. So let's go and see how the rally performs with two fully grown blokes on it. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. See you later. So we're in Mackie D's, um, just trying out them new Mac Park series. Anyway, we, uh, we did choose up on the way here, um, and we were having a chat with the Hintercom, weren't we, about how weird it felt, you know. I don't think I've ever ridden with a pillion on that, well, certainly not on that bike, but I don't think I've taken a pillion in like 10 years ago. And I've not been a pillion in longer than that. I think I was 16, I think the last time I was a pillion on a, a bike. Mental. Yeah. But uh, it got us thinking that if we were ever stuck out on the trail, that's probably our way to get out if we had to abandon a bike, go get help, go get tools, whatever, whatever. And, and how difficult that would be to do off road, yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's weird on the road, but I hope it's actually all right. But yeah, what it be like going down some uneven trails and stuff like that? Where well, you can't stand up because you've got a pillion. So, guess what we're off to do? We're going to go pillion off road <laughs> because we've never done it, and we think we might one day have to. It's worth testing out, you know. Let's go see what that's like, how that works. Not for very long. Not for very long. <laughs> but hey, catch us on the lanes with a pillion. So as you can see, I'm not on a bike. I'm in the car, but I've left this on so that I can chat to this fella. Hello. <laughs> So as promised, we're out on the lane, uh, as you can tell, and we're gonna go pillion because this is how we'd ultimately have to recover ourselves. Um, we're gonna use Jamie's bike because it's got a few anomalies and uh, it doesn't have lower foot pegs because the adventure spec pannier racks. Uh, he's got a big old tool roll there and reality would have a massive bag on the back as well. So using Jamie's bike as the guinea pig, uh, let's do this. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> let's do it. <laughs> I tell you what, I wouldn't want to go much faster than this. No. A foot caught on the floor and nearly tipped us off. Good. So there we go, uh, Pillion off-road on a CRF, it can do it perfect. So we've done it on-road and off-road. Yes, yeah. I think that's, much... that's, the, that's the good point to make is that the bike actually felt fine. Genuinely felt fine, of course, they were going slow, but you know, it's, it could cope with it and you could do that for a long time if you had to. If you had to. I don't yeah. know if you'd be on the back, literally it was a proper workout. But hey, a, a fun little video, but a, a genuine skill that we might have to try one day if ever we needed to rescue one another. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, at least we know we can do it now and with the upcoming trip, it's good to know that. Okay, so if you've enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Yeah, we're trying to get back to everybody still. That's the plan. We do. And until the next time, stay safe. We'll see you on the trails. Bye-bye. <laughs>